Hello and welcome to the 613 cast episode 3 with iGame613 and today we're going to be going more detail into the OpenIV debargo going on currently at the moment where basically if you missed the video that I did the other day it was called Breaking News, OpenIV shut down or something along that line I called it and basically it said that OpenIV, the creators of it over in Russia had been given a cease and desist by Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, who make GTA 5. And basically that means that they have to stop distributing their software. So if you actually go to the OpenIV website now, as this is actually recorded currently anyway, or even GTA 5 Mods website, the actual OpenIV should not be there for download. And people who have it, they can obviously still upload it, but if they do, They'll be getting OpenIV into trouble and they'll see themselves. So I highly do not recommend if you do own OpenIV for you to re-upload it. Uh, especially on sharing websites or anything like that. Because you'll just get yourself into a lot of trouble. So anyway, let's go into it a little bit more. Because there's been a lot of updates. Rockstar spoke out about it. And there's been quite a few things. And obviously towards the end of this uh, podcast, I will actually give my own speculation on what I think could be coming next for the GTA modern community because right now a lot of people are frightened they're thinking what the fuck is going on there is no reason for them to do this and basically GTA mods are in a bit of a kaput way at the moment so a lot of people are scared a lot of people rely on GTA mods for their video content because that's what the channel's based upon and it's kind of cool gear so let's find out so here's the actual article from Rockstar Games uh, speaking out on the actual OpenIV uh, shutdown and basically they say Take-Two's actions were not specifically targeted at single player mods unfortunately OpenIV enables recent malicious mods that allow harassment of players and interfere with the GT Online experience for everyone we are working to figure out how we can continue to support the creative community without negatively impacting our players Obviously, this leaves some questions as to the future of GTA modding will look like. Rockstar has yet to clarify or expand on what sort of plans it may have. If you already have OpenIV, it still, it still seems to be working. If you don't have it, it's no longer downloadable from the website, as I just said a moment ago. If this clarifies... If Rockstar clarifies any further, we'll let you know. And that's from the actual people over at Escapist Magazine. And they obviously got this from PC Gamer. So PC Gamer's probably got a link if I were to click that link there. And it'll probably link up on here. Which it does. But one thing I did notice is at the very bottom it says Disclosures. Strauss Elnick, Chief Executive Officer and Chairman and Board of Board of Directors of Take Two Interactive Software is head of Zelnik Media, an investor in both Take-Two and Defy Media, LLC, our parent company. This article was published without approval or consent from Zelnik Media or Take-Two Interactive. So basically, this article from Rockstar, which they give to the guys that are PC Gamer, they basically um, messed them up and pretty much put themselves in a little bit of hot water to actually give us this information so I personally was actually thinking maybe it's take two saying this on behalf of um, Rockstar Games however it doesn't seem to be that way it just seems to be a situation where uh, take two have jumped in and said right we won't get rid of this, we'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of this because there's been quite a few little mod um, things, I believe one's called um Something hacks, online hacks or something like that that they got shut down as well. It's one of the actual more popular hackers, hacking apps for online, which I totally agree with being taken down because it just ruins the online community and it doesn't cause, don't make anything better for anyone. It makes your day better if you're playing with the mod yourself, but for other people it's a bit boring, a bit annoying if you're trying to play a game and you're trying to do it legit and you got some moron in god mode, just keeps sending rockets at your face. So it does get a bit boring for in that kind of situation but when you're on single player there is no reason to shut down mods because it just doesn't make no difference to anyone 
So obviously here it's the same article, it's going to be exactly the same. And basically Rockstar said all this stuff to PC Gamer without consent from their parent company. So let's put this in perspective. If Take-Two is the parent company of Rockstar and Zelnik Media own Take-Two and Rockstar obviously because that's part of Take-Two then Strauss Zelnik is going to be one angry motherfucker at this point in time which is very funny to me because he's a total dick if it's part of his move. If Zelnik doesn't agree with this then he should get his people's U-turn it and give us back our open IV. I totally don't care about the online hacking mods, they can stay offline for as long as Zelnik wants them to, but for things that do not affect on people's single player games other than the people who are actually using the mods themselves, it's just stupid. And there's a mod that uh, a guy that I first found the story out about this from um, Zach Hausnecht, he uses a mod called uh, 5M which allows you to go on like a multiplayer server and do like roleplay of like uh, what he does is cops and crooks type uh, type of thing where you get a load of people driving these modded police cars which are like real life police cars and you get the other people just driving around in normal cars and they can start fires, they can use certain items and it just makes really good videos pretty much so that is why some people are getting annoyed and if it's a 5M thing which is total separate servers than online so it doesn't affect online players at all it's something that Rockstar and Take Two shouldn't be taking any notice of really because it's total fine, total kosher everyone on them servers, the roleplay servers do actually love that type of thing so it's one of the cases where everyone agrees it's just very very silly now obviously uh, they're going to be in trouble. I'm thinking maybe something will happen. Maybe something will come out from Rockstar or Take Two over this situation. Because Rockstar were doing a little bit of naughty actually releasing this information without permission. So I give Rockstar props for that. They did a great job doing that. They obviously care about their fans. And yeah, let's hope they actually care about us enough to give some single player DLC. Hey! But let's just say, click this link here because we go to GTA 5 Mods website and on that you will actually find that the guys over at, what's it called, the um, OpenIV, see I forgot you already because of these people, <laughs> no, the guys over at OpenIV did actually respond and they said OpenIV, Liberty City Grand Theft Auto 5, which is the DLC that's Open IV were going to release with Liberty City added onto the GTA 5 map, which would have been immense, looked amazing, but uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be getting that anymore. But yeah, basically, Open IV and Liberty City and GTA 5 and other mod projects from the team are only specific for single player. Rockstar must well know and be aware that the fact that you cannot ac access GTA Online. When you have a mod installed using the open iv which is very very true if i click on here go back to this screen here i click images you'll see this is the image you get when you try going to online mode when you're using mods that you installed via open iv it says on some online lines of you're attempting to access gt online servers with an altered version of the game please return to single player or GTA 5 and you can only click OK which accepts you to go back to single player and that's it, that's literally it. the only way you can get back online and use the online servers is if you actually take all your mods off or delete your game and reinstall it and don't add a single mod onto it because then you can go online and you're free to do what you want the only mods that do allow you to go online are ones like the um, Hacks mods, I can't remember the name of them again, but it's like some dickhead mods that you get, like the mod menus for GT Online that people use. They can still go online, but they don't use OpenIV to install their mods. Uh, I assume mods like Menu can unfortunately go online with them. 
However, Menu has actually made an effort to block the online section, so the only people you can add money to is your single player characters. And there is actually an online tab on the actual menu. menu. Um, but that's all blocked off, so it does actually say you can't use this whilst your um, things are on certain things. But basically, that's that. So that's kind of cool from the guys open IV wise because open IV only works single player. Now, what do I find interesting about this? If we go back to this one here, oh, was it that one? Yeah, it was that one. And we'll go back to the original page that we're on. So we'll go back to here. And we'll see this line. Where's it gone? There it is. Rockstar has yet to clarify or expand on what sort of plans it may have. Now that is referring to for mods on GTA modding. Because... I think they're actually planning to make a sandbox version we've always wanted where you can install mods via an actual GTA 5 built-in mod installer. And that'll be amazing, that'll be the best thing ever. It's one of the things that we've always wanted. Some along the lines of Steam Workshop maybe, that'd be quite cool. And it'll just make installing mods a lot more easier. There is tons of people who don't even know how to install a mod. I could never install mods myself personally for GTA San Andreas and that was a pain in the neck to do but the fact that they are possibly and this is a possibly it's not like guaranteed they're not said anything but from this line here it looks like they're actually tr planning to actually um, give us some kind of mod installer which would be pretty cool uh, I think a lot of people would actually be fans of that and even if we have to wait till GTA 6 and fair enough because this line here it says if you oh, if you already own open IV and it seems still it seems still to be working it's like they're saying nothing <laughs> it's like they're saying hint hint if you've still got the if you still got open IV it'll still work wink wink and they're kind of like saying we want you to use mods to an extent and we want you to enjoy yourself on single player but as long as you keep on single player if you take it online then yep they are going to give you bans and even on this latest DLC on the Gunrun DLC as soon as you log online you get a frightening shock and I did it myself I was like what the f is this and it comes up saying if you cheat on this game you'll be banned forever pretty much and all that kind of stuff and it says have fun playing GTA online but basically all it was was not telling me I'm banned, but it was saying, and everyone will see this I believe as well, it's saying that if you're a hacker, or if you do use mods, or have a hacked account, or a modded account, then you will actually be banned. Uh, they've got new things coming up, and they have actually got a post on Twitter, on the Rockstar Careers page, actually asking for someone who knows how to detect cheating games, and people who now use the software for that and it looks like they're actually cracking down finally on GTA Online Modders which is great for the community because it's just something I'm so sick of right now you can't play a game without someone having everything and killing you straight away so it just ruins the game for actual fans of it so I'm glad they're actually cracking down on that and for people who like only modding the game it's very unfortunate, including myself, because I do actually love modding GTA 5 and doing certain cool things with it. Like, I've got another video coming up after this one, or maybe it's before. I'm not sure which one I'm going to upload yet. But that one features the uh, damaged UFO. And it's like, there's no way to actually see that in game, currently, unless it is actually hidden somewhere, without actually modding it in. And it's just so silly of take two to I do this but I don't know if there's something more that we'll get from this information if Rockstar will fight our case and actually get us the open IV servers back up because right now the way it's looking with uh, Rockstar releasing a undamaged UFO with the input export DLC and a damaged UFO with the latest gun running DLC 
it's looking like there may be a single player DLC coming this autumn which would explain why they actually pushed back the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 launch from this September or whatever it was meant to launch so it all makes sense and if we get a GTA 5 DLC for GTA 5 in November I assume maybe late October then that'll be awesome it'll definitely sell a lot of Christmas selling going on there too uh, I don't know why they'd want to remove um, Red Dead Redemption from that position otherwise because they know they'd get a ton of sales at Christmas and when they're actually launching after the financial uh, what do you call it the actual financial end of year which is April 1st then it's just silly because they're missing out on four months of sales there as well from Christmas to that actual point in time but we'll have to see what actually happens there's not really much we can do about this and it's just one of those things where it's unfortunate but it's something we have to deal with now it is actually very very hot in my room right now where I'm actually recording this probably about 30 degrees Celsius which is very 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 unusual for the UK so I'm gonna go now and stop talking and get a drink and maybe cool myself down somehow uh, because I have to even turn the fan off because of this video because it's just way too loud and I hear <laughs> down the actual mic so oh well and it makes my voice go very bad hey because of that hard but whatever so thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please do leave a like it does help the channel grow and as always don't get abducted <laughs>